is your ESR experiment setup, right? By making use of which you will be finding your Landy G factor. So in your ESR technique, we make use of your paramagnetic sample, right? Uh, the paramagnetic sample used here is your uh, here. It's placed here inside this thermal coil, which is your diphenylpetrylhydrazine or DPPH. And this is your electron spin resonance spectrometer, right? So this display is meant for showing your frequency and there is a frequency adjuster knob here, making use of which you can change the frequency. And there is a current adjuster knob here, right? And there is a, C, a CRO here in which we will display our output will be displayed. Okay, and there are two wires which connects to your CRO and then there are another two wires which connects to your Helmholtz coil. And one important thing is there is something called phase adjuster, right? So we will be making use of this as well. So what we need to do in our experiment is, so this is the kind of um, output you'll be getting. So you'll see four different peaks here, right? So in our experiment, we will change the current values for a particular frequency. We will for a particular value of frequency, single value of frequency, we will keep changing the currents, right? So once we keep changing the currents, we will observe different peaks of different, you know, distances, right? So what we need to do now is, so for a 130 milliampere of current, right, what we need to do is, uh, we see four different peaks. Now, making use of this phase adjuster, we have to make sure that these two peaks, they overlap back to back, right? Something like this. So there you, I mean you can, you should try to make a, the best possible overlap. They will not overlap exactly, but you know a rough overlap is uh, fine. So something like this is fine enough. So now here what we see is, so here, so this in your experimental observation, what we see is you have your serial number. So this is for a particular frequency. You note down whatever frequency you have. And then you have your X deflection. I'll tell you what that X deflection is. Then you have your different currents and then you have your 2Q and then this is you'll uh, find using your the values which is given here. So here, so here P is this distance, right? So P is this distance. So from distance from here to here is your P distance or it is called your X deflection of your oscilloscope the one which you see here so this this distance is p okay and then then you have your distance between two peaks which is 2q so this peak to peak distance is 2q now when you change the current again the peak to peak distance is going to change p will remain the same but 2q is going to uh, change the peak peak to peak distance will change but your p uh, x deflection is going to change so what you need to do is you need to find uh, there are two different tables right two different cases so for a particular frequency you perform one experiment and for another frequency you perform the similar thing so that will be that will be done in your esr experiment by making use of which we will be finding your landy g factor